Okay, this is our second video in our product series. We're going to look at special products in this video. First special product is what do I get if I take a binomial and I square it? Okay, so there's a two termed expression. I'm squaring it. It's a squared plus twice this times that plus b squared. So it's a squared and the b squared are there, but what I want to draw your attention to is that there's a middle term. Okay, and the middle term is twice this multiplied by that. Now folks, if this was a minus, <coughs> excuse me, if I make that a minus, then this will be a minus. The nth term will always be a positive. Now let's see and look at a few of these. x plus 4, all squared. Is the first one squared plus the last one squared which is 16 4 squared is 16 and in the middle this is a plus so we have positive 2 times 4 is 8 times x is 8x you should go straight from there to there in the shortest possible time this is really basic elementary work on products folks you cannot spend time expanding and then doing term by term and then adding. Train your brain to do the arithmetic for you. Okay, let's do one where the x has something in front and I'm going to change the, from a positive to a negative. What am I doing? I'm squaring this. So it will be the first term squared, which is 2 squared, which is 4. x squared, the middle term, is 2 times minus 3, which is minus 6. Times another 2 is minus 12x. This squared is what I add at the end, so 3 squared is indeed 9. Okay, let's step it up a little bit. Let us bring a fraction in. 2 over 3, x plus 2, all squared. Now remember, everything works the same. Everything is based on the form of this product. It's the first one squared, so 4 over 9 x squared is x squared. The middle term, careful, I'm going to write it out for you here. It's 2 multiplied by 2 over 3 multiplied by another 2. So remember this can be seen as 2 over 1, 2 over 1. So 2 times 2 times 2 is 8 divided by 3 times 1 times 1 is 3. There's a plus there, so my middle term is plus 8 over 3x. My last term will be this 2 that is squared, and that gives me a 4. Okay, folks, um, how can I make this more difficult? I don't, you can't really make it more trickier than the fractions. Let's put a negative in. Um, let's leave a fraction of a half, minus 5 over 3, which I'm going to square. Okay, so let's see. It is the first term squared. So a half squared is a half times a half, which is a quarter x squared. Now you can write the x next to the quarter, or you could have said x squared over 4. The middle term is going to be negative. What is it going to be? It's going to be a half multiplied by 5 over 3 multiplied by 2. Now remember, this is 2 over 1. And if you multiply a half with 2, the 2's are gone. So it's merely a 5 over 3x for the middle term, then plus the second term squared, which is 25 over 9. Okay, so it's a binomial squared becomes a trinomial. Okay, folks, the next one that I want to look at with you, the next form is, what do I get? You can make the forms in black dots. What do I get if I have a minus b and a plus b? I have the same terms in the bracket. The one has a minus, the other one has a plus. Okay, the simple to this, the, the, this is quite a simple result, would be a times a is a squared. Now look at this. This is minus ab plus ab, so there's no middle term. I'm doing normal distribution. There's no middle term. Look again. Minus AB is that product. Plus AB is naught. Minus times a plus is a minus 
b squared. Now we gave this a name. It's the difference, the difference of squares. Okay? Difference of two squares. If we're going to factorize in future, we're going to go back from here to there. So if you identify this form, there's your two factors. Now let's see how this works. x minus 2. Now what must be in this bracket is the same thing, a x and a 2, but with a plus in between them. Once you see that, you're not going to distribute, you're going to go straight for the answer. It's the first term squared minus the second term squared. 2 squared is 4. Is your difference of 2 squared. 3x plus 2. What must I have here? 3x minus... Uh, that's a minus, so this must be a plus 2. 3x minus 2, 3x plus 2. Again, the things are the same. A and A, B and B. Minus and a plus. The form is perfect. So it's the first one squared, 3 times 3. Or 3 squared is 9. X squared minus 2 squared, which is 4. Let's throw a fraction in. 5 over 3x plus 2. Here I must have 5 over 3x minus 2. Again, those two things are the same. Those two are the same. There's a plus, there's a minus. It's the difference of squares. So it's 5 over 3, which is squared to become 25 over 9. x squared minus the second term squared which is 4. Okay, so folks, I'm sure you'll agree with me, not that difficult. Let's do last one. 2 over 3x plus 1 over 7 multiplied by 2 over 3x minus 1 over 7. There we go. Again, those two are the same, those two are the same, plus, minus, same thing. So the first one squared, 4 over 9x squared minus 1 over 7 squared, which is 49. And there your product has been complete. Now we can throw this into a sum and ask quite a weird question of you, a combination. Let's look at one of those that combine these two that we looked at. The sum of uh, the square of a binomial and the difference of squares. Let's go and say we want to calculate 2x minus 3 squared minus, let's make that a difficult one as well, x plus 3, x minus 3. And let's put a 2 in the front. So twice, x plus 3, x minus 3. Now, folks, remember, you've got to analyze what you're working with. This is the difference of squares. If I apply this binomial, it's the first term squared, which is 4x squared. There is a middle term which consists of this multiplied by that, which is minus 6x times by 2 is minus 12x. Minus 3 squared is 9, so plus 9. Now here, remember, we saw this earlier. If there's a negative, keep the negative for now and let's first distribute the bracket. This is a minus b, a plus b. The same, the same, plus or minus. So it's the difference of squares is the result. It's x squared minus 3 squared, which is 9. Now we can take the 2 in. So we get 4x squared minus 12x plus 9 minus 2x squared plus 18. And that gives me 2x squared minus 12x, 9 and 18 together, gives you a 27. I think that is beautiful. Look at what it looked like over there and look at what it reduced to. It reduced to this quadratic trinomial when we multiplied them. Okay, so that's a binomial squared. That's the difference of two squares. One thing that the AP students are going to use possibly in their AP career is what do I do if I want to have an expression for a squared plus b squared? Now let's just look at this. Where does this come from? Let's go to the top. There's an a squared, there's a b squared. So that j was generated by squaring a binomial. Let's have a look then. If I take the binomial and I square it, 
I get a squared plus b squared but there's a middle term 2ab that tags along what am I interested in? I'm only interested in a squared plus b squared so I keep this to one side so what is a squared plus b squared going to be? it's going to be the square of a binomial minus the middle term 2ab so I just kept this on the one side I kept that there and drew, drew it over threw it over ok so these are all called special results in products we've looked at the sum of a binomial oh, the square, the, if I square a binomial and we've looked at the difference of two squares we've also looked at the sum of two squares let me just show you where this is applicable x squared plus 9 you'll agree with me is equivalent to x squared plus 3 squared ok if I want to write that like this it's going to be x plus 3 all squared minus 2 times that times that so minus 2 times 3 is 6 times the first term is x ok there we go you're not really going to use this in class except for if I say write this in that form then you could do this theory ok folks I hope that helped you remember to like the video and to subscribe to my channel